What was it like to grow up in Zimbabwe under Robert Mugabe? And how has the country changed since he resigned in 2017? Growing up under Robert Mugabe in uh, Zimbabwe, uh, for many Zimbabweans, was a very tough experience. Right from the time that Robert Mugabe took power in the early 1980s, what a lot of people may actually not know is that he oversaw what is today known as a genocide. In the south of the country, more than 20,000 people were murdered because Robert Mugabe suspected that there was a plan to oust him from power. And so he began a cleansing exercise in which over 20,000 people were murdered. So right from the get-go, uh, since 1982, Robert Mugabe became prime minister in 1980 after independence. So from 1982 onwards, the sense of fear was has always been a part of Zimbabweans, especially when it comes to the political uh, side of things, when it comes to political contestation, when it comes to uh, the matters of governance, there's always been a sense of fear and a sense of uh, being being deeply, deeply afraid because of the violence. Over the years, Robert Mugabe only increased that violence. Many more people were murdered, jailed, and 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 brutalized as a result of them challenging Robert Mugabe or speaking truth to power. From the outside, though, Zimbabwe seemed like it was thriving. And for, you know, by all metrics, especially in the uh, kind of mid-80s to the late 80s, even early 90s, Zimbabwe was one of the model countries in terms of our economy, in terms of our employment, and in terms of even health delivery and education. But as uh, the 90s began and we began to progress, the true nature of how Zimbabwe had been hollowed out began to show up as our uh, currency began to devalue. But the, the main thing Robert Mugabe was known for and even now is known for is how Robert Mugabe continued to uh, hollow out the democratic process. Over and over again, Robert Mugabe rigged elections. One of the main ones that it's, it, he is known for having rigged is the 2000 uh, and two elections and the 2008 elections, in particular the, the 2008 election, where he actually lost the election to the opposition and simply refused to leave power. And, and eventually what he then did was worked out a government of national unity with the opposition leader at the time, Morgan Changirai, and they then shared power from 2009 to 2013. So that's the historical context, you know, of Zimbabwe. But since Robert Mugabe left in 2017, up until now, believe it or not, Zimbabwe has actually gone worse than when he was in power. And when I say worse, the metrics are, for example, the new government went on to shoot people on the street using the military in front of international media after an election when people protested the election that they felt had not gone their way. They shot and killed people right in the open. So that became the, 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 the resume of this new government uh, led by Emerson Munangagwa that came on the scene. I myself was arrested and jailed by Robert Mugabe in 2016, in 2017, and in 2019, and charged with treason. I was kept in a maximum security prison for many months. I was tortured and beaten, and then escaped, went back to Zimbabwe. And even when the new president came in, Emerson Munangagwa, and we organized protests again against him, I was again arrested and went straight back into the maximum security prison, where this time I spent an even longer time with even more torture uh, you know, in that prison. So Zimbabwe has gone through a phase of trying its best through its people to be better or, you know, and, and to become a more democratic society. But through its leadership, Zimbabwe seems to have continued to regress. And of course, uh, you know, when the politics of a nation doesn't work, you also know that the economics does not work too. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this video, you may find some of our other work interesting. Check out another video here. Also, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below, leave a comment, and follow the IATP on Twitter at the underscore IATP.